Welcome back to Deltarune. So I accept donations. <laughs> hey, so do I. Let's donate to each other so we'll both be rich. Sir. I think that was our save. Alright, last time, uh, by the way, we tried to kill Jester. Or Jevil, sorry, yeah. Didn't work out very well, so... Uh, living, and I think all of you others as well, I think you missed a little bit of this game. Chaos, chaos. Like, we all relate to uh, our value to the American dollar, and the dollar used to be attached to the gold standard and or oil, but it is kind of free-floating right now. So the dollar isn't really related in value to anything. Yeah, that's true. I missed a lot of this game, I'm so sorry. But at least you'll be here to see the rest of it, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure... You Except the first stream? Oh, there have only been two streams, and I didn't do all that much in the second one, so... Rest assured, we're good to go. Hold up. Okay, so... It worries me that one of the more dysfunctional first world countries is our basis for the value of money. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel you. I feel you there. Ride the elevator! Yes, please. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's just the ending of this game left and then we're done. Because I believe we uh, already went through this ba- yeah, we did. Look, there's that, that guy again. Its previously violent expression has turned to kindness. Fifty dollars, one depot petrol? What the fuck? I'll be right back. Alright, Bobby. Bobby's cousin. <laughs> Is the girl still a meanie? Um, yeah, she's back. And will now live a peaceful life. And she's befriended us again. And, uh, so has Lancer, actually. Oh, here we go. This is the throne room, isn't it? This has a lot... This reminds me a lot of Undertale. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. That's not a good sign. Riches. They shine with Everest. Whoever can tell me what Everest means. Shine with Everest. Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Is there anywhere that isn't dysfunctional? <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you too, man. I hope you're having fun here, and uh, I hope we'll be able to deal with whatever's up ahead. I could just run. <laughs> there's Lancer! Hey, our friend. Our newfound friend. Hey, there's Lancer. I love how he just doesn't have a walking animation. He just slides. He has these, like, little rolls on his, on his, on his heelies. Father! Lancer, my son, have you dispatched the lightness as I commanded? N no, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive! Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Hey. It's nice to meet you. Maybe not ideally functional, but I wouldn't say dysfunctional. And the lens isn't perfect, but generally, uh, I feel West EU countries got a things a little bit better in hand than the US. That's true. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Y yes, father? But I don't think Scoop wants this to get too political. It's fine, just don't get too much into it. I mean, we're playing a game. We should be enjoying the game, right? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentally sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They cannot for you. Is Lancer getting bitch slapped? I think he's just I think he's just having a heart to heart and like putting his hand on his chest or his shoulder or whatever. 
Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. N no, they aren't. And now he's choking him. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. This is a father. Alright. Befriending lightners? No, Papa. Telling light. Oh, God. What is that from again? I don't remember. <laughs> Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, lightners? D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll. He'll. And we're kneeling. I like that Susie's kneeling too, though. She cares. It This proves it. Now watch, Lancer. Role model? Yeah. See what happens when you befriend Lightness. Oh, backstabbed his own dad. What the? You, you traitor. Come back here. I shit them. <laughs> All right, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? I am the bad guy. <laughs> All righty, king blocked the way. You got to like Lancer? I knew you would warm to up warm up to him eventually. Alright. Uh guess we're gonna talk to him. I I think King blocked the way. Not sure what to do. Defend. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright. You want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. How dare you come here, Light Nose? What is he doing with his intestines? That That's a good question. That is a very good question. I am... Does he not have a left or right arm? Alright. Oh, okay, okay. Simple enough for now. Uh, what's this? Red damage. No thank you. What about if we talk to him with Ralsei? And you defend. Ralsei tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but... This is a world where you don't want to, uh, you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivete. It's a stick. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's your answer. It's a stick. Now perish with a pathetic lightness you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. I didn't want to ask if it's his D. It is his D, apparently. Ralsei's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Alright, so we have... We're replacing stuff. You, that left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. Oh, he's being very salty! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! That was a bit much action for me there. Alright, talk. Just talk to him. Uh, defend... And I guess you could heal yourself? Actually, we're probably gonna need the TP, so... The idea came to my mind already. Try to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer! Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall sp shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage! There we go. You dare tor return to torment us once again? Oof. 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 Okay. 
and seeing the pattern. It's not too hard so far. Courage. Defense boost. Is this gonna be a thing of I have to, like, fight him? No matter what? Defense boost. Yeah, okay. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Oh, only for this turn. Okay. Be gone! We have found fresh purpose. He seems to be able to do a lot with his D. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, shit. It's the fucking DVD screensaver. Ah! Okay. Somehow we did it, though. Alright. I guess just do this, then. And heal. Aw, oh, man, just 1% off. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Susie used Red Buster. For the kit knight has appeared. Oh, no, not this one. Ah! Okay. Another Red Buster, and you just fucking heal yourself, my dude. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Red Buster. I also love how the King's Laugh is just a pitched down version of Lancer's. <laughs> nice details. Oh yeah. The knight, the knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. What's that? Oh no. Oh no. That's very creative though. Ah. Ralsei is almost gone. Um, I don't know. We could check him, but that wouldn't do anything. Alright, you're gonna need another Dark Henny, Ralsei. You're dying very quickly. Holy fountains, those shadows are creating a new world. Sup, my dude? Sup, Killer Nuke? How you doing? Look, man, I don't know what your problem is, but we just wanted some chalk. That's what this game is all about. We just wanted some chalk, man. Our world. Now we have to... Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alright. I'm good, you? I'm doing wonderfully, thank you. I'm trying to fight this dude with his dick hanging out, apparently. <laughs> At least that's what everybody said it is, so... I'm just going after what they say. Heals everyone. I mean... Sure, just to try it out. Your soul shined its power on Ralsei. Ralsei cast dual heal, and everybody! <laughs> to see now our new purpose. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Shit, alright. Oops. I mean, I could do more than just. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Also, I got my bonza. Oh shit! I can't. I can't read. I got. <laughs> I got my bonsai 101 book earlier this week, Scooch. So now I have a better idea of how to keep my baby tree alive. Just keep me updated on how that's going. I'm, I'm guessing it's still alive. Like, I don't think you killed it off yet. within a week. <laughs> then you may see what it is like to live in despair. Oh, shit. Ah. Ah! Why are you being so rude, my dude? I, I mean... As an Isaac fan, could as well be his umbil umbilical cord. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. Kept it on for a long time then. Update, it is life, indeed. Alright. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> oh man. I think you can just... Actually... Hmm... Give Chris a heartstone it? I'll take it. Now, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. 
What? 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 Ah! Oh. <laughs> Ridiculous. Red Buster. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Susie used Red Buster. Ha! <laughs> You're quite strong, aren't you? Hey, Talus, how are you doing? Oh boy, what was that? Hell. Well, Undertale has been worse. And uh, harder, I mean. You're quite strong, aren't you? Whoa, that was close. Alright. And we've got enough enough for another Rit Buster. Let's do it. 308, we're doing some mad damage there. If I keep fighting you like this, then... The whole game you can decide against fighting, but in the end you have to. Well... Ah, oh, shit, shit. Not quiet. But you'll know... You'll know in a bit. Sometimes, sometimes there's just no other solution. It seems that... God, don't do this to me. Ah! Darkness pushed from the fountain. Everybody have a good holiday? Yeah, what about you? Did something nice with the fam? How much is that? 50. We don't have that much. We could defend boost, but I feel like that would be a waste. Alright, just defend. My knight! I shall not fail you. Who's your knight? That's what I want to know. Oh! Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I've grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightness. I... Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time... Where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. To be fair, I'm not sure if I needed to fight him. Like, I'm not sure if I needed to attack him, that is. Like, maybe I could have just spared him all over, and that would have worked, but I wasn't going to try to find out. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. Well, that is sudden, yeah. Yeah, that surprised me too. He was like, nope, I'm done. I had an alright holiday, a bit busy in the cold, but I had fun stuff to do as well. That's nice. I'm glad. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. Susie. Come now, Susie. Good. I'm glad you're starting to re realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. Not killing. To parents is always good. Didn't kill my parents, doing okay. We're about to kill Lance's parent. Or or not, I don't know. I guess we're not, actually. We put away our weapons. And there's a black pixel on the screen. I'm not sure you guys see that too. C cough. My apologies. I am, I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Well, let's see. 
You dick hole. Never better. I see this little pixel guy as well. God damn that pixel. Ew. Did I say you could get up? Chris defending. Chris! Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Oh, spare me the heroics. Alexiel45, thank you so much for becoming a new school kid. Hope that means you're enjoying the stream. I hope you're ready for this shit. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it, my dude. I got a cat for Christmas. What? Have fun with your new fur friend. Yeah. I kind of expected that. Yeah. She was one of the problem child, but she's an attention-seeking angel now. Ah, ah! I hope you have a wonderful life together. Oh, spare me the heroics. Ow, fuck. He's not good. He was lying. He was lying to all of us. Good luck sleeping evermore. Ah, <laughs> you, you're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say? Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey. Get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk to to talk me to death? The power of friendship. Yes. Soggy. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> He's so chunk. <laughs> He's a chungus. I'm not sure what the fuck that means, but I keep hearing it on Reddit, so I'm just like, eh, well. Susie, now it's time for, for your plan. You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. Chunk means chunky. Oh, shit! Lancer? Everyone? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the Dad. You idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! I feel like Jim Sterling should get royalties, though. For Chungus. Big Chungus is the new meme. <laughs> I slept my morning away, but I'm better. I'm glad you're better. Did you... Were you not feeling well to, uh, this morning? Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes! I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad! No! <laughs> R and R. Do guy Scooga what do biff do guy Chris D six iron do biff. R and R, what timing? Thank you so so much for the resubscription for thirteen months in a row, my dude. You are, you are, above and beyond a full year. That black pixel is still there. <laughs> no, man, that was the best in our Cthulhu escape room. Cthulhu had had about this voice. It was and at the end he was like, "No, how are you doing on the second last day of this mortal realm?" What? Wait, this is the second last day of this mortal realm. So that means that 2019, the Earth will not exist as a place. Oh boy, Arno is going strong. Hell yeah. The grim darkness known as. Had the grim darkness known as 2018. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. 2019 is going to be a lot better. I feel it in my bones. You all right, Chris? Susie has her hair gone from her face now. Chris, 
Susie! Oh, you're all right. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm... I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Oh, Skoog, I meant my wisdom teeth feels better. Since I haven't taken my meds yesterday, so it's tolerable now. Aw, I'm glad. I'm glad it's nice now. That it's all good again. Yeah, usually the odd-numbered years have been my years. For me, it's actually been different. For me, the even years have been usually the better ones, but not always so. Susie, you were right. I I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Nah, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? I was thinking about that. Well, uh... How are y'all? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing good as well now after the, that whole ordeal with your wisdom teeth. See ya. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> Hold up. Ah. This game makes you play with an American keyboard layout and it fucks me over every time I want to type something. <laughs> Um, dental pains are a pain to deal with. Be good, well, I'm doing good. Being in bed, just watching random things on the iPad and chilling. That sounds nice, man. Getting my stitches out on the fourth. There's stitches. I I guess I never really thought about how that works. Can we go back and say goodbye properly? Huh? Chris, you wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? <laughs> well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Ah, uh, you, you, your graphics are so nice now that you finally got your hair out of your fucking face. Ah, look at her from the front. She has an actual face now. How nice. Chris? Susie? You came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Now nah, we have to talk to Lancer first. The bangs are contained. Way to go, kids! Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. Life's not got no tutorials, so try your best. Best, you're the best. Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. Great work! Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the way, I asked Sean to come here, but... There wasn't any interest... <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know you can say bye to peeps in this game. <laughs> Soggy, you can. Like an Undertale. It's always been this way. One of my teeth were so big and also sideways, so I needed like stitches for that one. Holy shit. Thank you. Um. By the way, Money, how was Christmas dinner considering your new chewing situation? Ah. Uh, Money just sashayed out of there like she don't care. Ah, Is that true, Soggy? How dare you? Even a little ball can say something like thank you. Darn, horsey. You've done us big help. Now all of us pieces can live in pieces. You did it. You ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. 
Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing! I forgot all the voices. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, I think... On PML Bo, I'm... Mm -mm. <laughs> what happened, Killer Nuke? Oh no! My, my chatbot saw what you wrote as a link, so he timed you out. You can show on one side, so dinner was fine. Alright, sounds good. Delta Rune has come am some amazing fan art. So does Undertale. Like, the fan bases for these games are really big. I left after fighting the king. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Wonderful work, mine amigos. Thou hast toppled the tyrant, freedst our creeds. Trulieth, history shall not forget the tale of Rolls Cart and the three heroes. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom which, with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B day, too. We'll have one soon. If that's not. if that's possible. Jesus Christ. Doing voices for that guy is harsh. Hathi looked at you proudly. Kiss. Aw. Mwah. What's going on? I slept through everything. <laughs> is that the guy from the trash can? Oh, what happened? What ho? Oh, what about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah. Oh. My treasure is unharmed. Carry on, then. Show is over. Everybody go home. What's all the fuss about? Fewer people are in cages. Us animals decided it's okay as, uh, if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Aw. Mamma Biba, what a celebration. This calls for the cake. And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. Good plan, bro. Lancer ballin'. Yeah, look at him. The fan base for Undertale is a bit scary, though. Well, in every fan base, there are some weirdos, so let's be honest. Sorry, phone was on and in my pocket, so it must have typed and sent something. Ah, oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just sorry you got timed out for it. <laughs> Tumblr got nuked. No place to see fan art anymore. I know what you mean. Ah, oh, look at that guy. He won't let us pass. Oh, no, he won't let us pass. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Oh, <laughs> good one. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who make our... We weren't sure who make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Susie! Blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home, home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? Hoo hoo hoo, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Oh, Susie. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now illegal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea! But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, I guess. FK for a bit, helping my mom out with a thing. Alright, Arnar. Good guy, you. So I haven't heard if any side is replacing them. Oh yeah, <laughs> because they they don't they ain't got the porn anymore. <laughs> fan art is banned on Tumblr too. No, not fan art. It's just like the pornographic stuff. I think. I think that's what he meant. I'm not sure. Um. Well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Ah. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Um, we'll just go back to Ralsei and say goodbye to all these guys and gals. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. 
Alright, let's just walk to the right. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Just not the safe for work, not safe for work stuff, which, <laughs> which is sixty percent of it, maybe more. Yeah. Uh, Ralsei. Um, I, I just wanted to say I. I, I really enjoyed meeting you two, and. Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? Can barely hear you, dude. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris, Susie, I, I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, all right? <laughs> that face, though. Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. <laughs> Tumblr wants to be more classy, not realizing their whole user base are just 30 thirsty dumpster fires, so that doesn't work. Yeah, it's a bad move on Tumblr's behalf. Let's go, Susie. Let's go. Oh, this has a distinct Zelda feel. Is this the fountain? Dunno how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? I like the music. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. Is this Tron? It was as if your very soul was glowing. What happened? I can't see anything. Plus the whole screening thing is a bit fucked. A food blogger got shut down for a bit due to the cleanse. But I still get random follows from foreign blogs, so it's working marvelous marvelously anyways. Clearly, yeah. Whoa! What? Hey, watch it! Huh? huh? The unused classroom? How do we get in there? And why is there games all over the place? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? <laughs> try not... Don't try getting an answer out of me. It won't work. I'll just look at you with that specific face. Anyways, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. It's a worn down stuffed stuffed animal. The door is locked. What are those? Building blocks? It's a light switch. I used to hang something. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Why is the light switch so far in that room? <laughs> yeah, that's check your items? Ball of junk? Ball of junk. A small ball of accumulated things. Uh, wait. Pen weapon pencil. Armor bandage. Money too. Yo you looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. What? The junk ball? Cell phone. Call home. Ring, ring. C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I am going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. 
you can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. All right, that's solved. <laughs> it's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of Green Turtle. It's signed Alvin. Alvin? Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Thoughts. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. We're friends now! Chris? Nah. <laughs> Let's go back there tomorrow. All right. Yeah, let let us do that. A friend, my bestie. I shouldn't go too harsh. <laughs> I shouldn't go. I shouldn't go too hard. She said we're we're friends. We we shouldn't we shouldn't we shouldn't push it. Sometimes I feel like Tumblr is an experiment how much we will put up with to just to keep the posts in chrono chronological order instead of some weird priority bullshit. It's bold and brash. The drawing, I mean. Uh. The door is locked. Uh. Now it's locked? The door is locked. Okay. We're in school now. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. As, do you like breathing? Moving fast with or without legs? Wait, but usually with legs? Join the cross country team with Jockington and Noel. The punctuation was really weird on that one. Is it on both sides? Yeah. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. This used to be your brother's locker. It's your locker, it's empty. My brother's locker? Ew, lukewarm. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Mrs. Toriel, ah, is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Our mum. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. Scented markers. Wait, what? No, the chocolate one smells too fake anyway. Scented markers. Yes, those are scented markers. You take out the marshmallow one and start huffing it. <laughs> it's what? Don't huff scented markers, kids. It's a po it's a poster of several basic shapes: circle, oval, square, hyperdoda, hyperdodecahedron. Kids' books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure why that got me. It's like it's a primitive drawing of your mom. <laughs> What the <laughs> what the fuck kind of message, Toby? You did it. That's true. Why not? They are scented. Yes, but we huffed it. That's probably bad for your health or something. Some kind of teacher food. I'm kidding. Huff scented markers as much as you like. Just don't get addicted. <laughs> it's a computer. Its desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Huh. Bunch of desks we can't interact with. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? The throne of the gods. Oh gosh. You know, when I was back in school, I used to love sitting on stack chairs. Like I would just climb on top of them and sit up there and look over the entire classroom like a god. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads. And screech at any students that make contact while dancing. <laughs> the locker's covered in jocking memorabilia. The locker's locked. The locker's lock is locked. The lock's locker is locked. The locker's lock lock. <laughs> lock's locker is locked. I feel like a kid. <laughs> or a god, I guess, yeah. You check the time. It seems to not be time for class. The computer's turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Aw. It's a bunch of roses. I, I feel like that's a message. The computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Turn off your computer once in a while, kids. Looks like motivational quotes from... I feel like we already read all of this. 
Is your mom the other teacher? Yeah, she is. Mrs. Toriel. Alright, let's get out of here. School! We have free range. We're a free range kid now. Eh. Alright. Uh, well. Free exploration. Oh my god, it's still the library. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. I feel like we're not even that old, my dude. Wait. Actually, we are that old. <laughs> Check the back door. I will. Don't worry about it. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant with a very morphed face. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 64.23. Consider it, Chris. Okay, thank you. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Great. Gotta go to Coleg. So Tim Stubby, hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. God damn it. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. No. There's an anime review. Read it. Hot demon guys. Which anime is that? Oh wait. Most of them. <laughs> no, that that was a joke. I know. I know. There's a lot of uh fellow weeps in chat. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You decide not to read it. Okay, read it. Teens Corner, monthly tune review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2! God damn it. All anime ever. <laughs> this reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her, t let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character is the f in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous L Yellow Lizard. I feel like... Didn't Alfie's... Wasn't Alfie's completely the other way around in the first game? There's a book here. You lick the pages. It's delicious! This must be what they meant by flavor tech. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. <laughs> Good. Naps to book. Lord of the Hammer! First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Please remember my name. Please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Wasn't didn't wasn't his name different though in Undertale? I don't know. Heat's Flames Man, I think. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer, and there's Toby Fox. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Aw. Computer lab, please serve the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. Heats flames, man. Check it twice? You look through the window to the computer lab. Now the dog is just playing the maracas. It's not doing any work. This might take a while. Ah, Toby, why? I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. I can't! 
I can't because you're in the way, my dude. Okay, well, whatever. Anybody doing anything good for New Year's Eve? Yeah, we're we're partying, my dude. <gasps> Undyne. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get off get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck! I guess I could just run anyway. Hey, punk! Get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait. It's just Ascor's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Nah. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? <gasps> they don't know each other in this <laughs> universe? No! They don't even know each other in this universe. No idea who you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha, if I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're as good as dead. They don't even know each other in this... In this universe. That breaks my goddamn heart. New Year's is my birthday. The first? Yeah. Got something to report? Help you? Ah, oh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Dark World. What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no laws against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. It's a different game, my dude. I know! No, it's... Well, it is... It is a different universe. It's just the same characters, though. Like, like it's a different universe. I get it. It's one of those sliding beat toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. The beats march grimly along their set path. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Whoa, I can go in? You're just gonna let me in? It's an old obligatory <laughs> hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. <clears throat> Skook writes his own game? You're going to have to write your own fanfiction then? Dude, I make games. I could do that. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Yes. <coughs> Plink. <laughs> Play it again. Okay. <laughs> and you enjoy this? It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noel, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. R really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Yeah, try to keep the spoilers in chat to a minimum, please, Killer Nuke. But I do remember. I do remember. Uh, anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Oh, I like the, the relationship of this dad-daughter combo. Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Oh! Breaking my goddamn heart. Noel, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. D Dad? Oh. You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Ha 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 ha. Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Ah. The feels. <laughs> Plinky Plink. Doc the Doc, hey, how you doing, man? Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? 
It's, um, Birdly. It's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Nah. Oh, hi, Chris. <laughs> Just ignore me. Run past me. It's a get well soon card from your mom. Aw, oh, it's signed inside. Hey, Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? It's your penmanship, that good. Was I not moved enough? It's a chair. <laughs> Thank you. Precious fam. Yeah. Oh, so you're just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris, be a little friendlier. It's an angel doll. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel? Noel and Des made it in your group, in youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. All right, you and Azzy tried to make one too, but you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey Chris, you forget my name or something? Well jingle my gosh darn bells, Look like looks like Christmas. Came early, I get it. All right Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Christmas. Rediscovered manzanita soul. Mexican apple pop, soda, whatever. That sounds nice. Beats Coke or Pepsi? Wow, actual favorite. Have you tried Mexican Coke, though? Wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay, seriously. You want a chat or something? What about Noel? She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. By the way, I just want to say, uh, I haven't explored the town in my playthrough, so all of this is blind to me. <laughs> I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights, because she is one? Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be here there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Illness. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Asriel's gone off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Apple pop seems weird. Not bad, kind of half cider, half juice. Sparkling cider? I don't know. It sounds good, though. Your mother, on the other hand. Whoa! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started... Yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Alright, I have no emotional attachment to you, <laughs> sir. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. He was partly human. Oh, boy. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. <gasps> no. You looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. Why the fuck? It's the classic 1 to 10 paint scale using Ice E as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. <laughs> Sweet father da daughter bunning. Yeah. This castle's white wizards relig. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. Yeah, I, I can see that in your face. Alright. There's so many places to check out. P wait. 
police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, Nah! <laughs> you knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. <laughs> Good! What? Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. God damn it, you guys, let me in. What if what if something happens? It's really irresponsible of you. My god, there's so many places. What's what's this black? Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here on Donna School Day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Very rarely has sparking sparkling anything. Sparkling grape juice is kind of big out there. Did we lose living? What? I'm not sure. Living? You still there? Sorry, sir. I have no emotional attachment. <laughs> is that quote worthy? Sorry, sir. I have no emotional attachment to you. <laughs> living is still there, yeah. Um, fruit juice! Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participate to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. A boy after my own heart. Alright, there's two ways to go already, jeez. Town Hall. Alright, let's check out Town Hall. You're gonna let it be past, are you? Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low. Ate too much candies. Lost your frisbee in the wash. Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. I'm just a hand. Do you need a hand? I get it. That dank juice. If you need to see her, Please try causing some terrible crisis. No, thank you. It's a small pine tree. It's a painting of the town. Sick juice to lure. Oh, I think I think it's supposed to be wine. <laughs> I think the sick juice is supposed to be wine. It's a chair. Maybe it's into politics. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. It feels unsettling to you? Okay, yeah. I mean, the whole concept of church when it's, like, really strictly religious is unsettling to me, to be entirely honest. I was just reading something, like, I missed most of the Deltarune stuff, so I don't know what all these convos are about. To be fair, the town convos so far are just, like, I feel more exposition for the next episode. What's this? Where are we going? What is this? It's locked? You're not gonna explain this? Oh, God. Okay. What the shit? I'm just referring to the scandals that came to show in the last... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, we always knew that the Catholic Church... Like, we just joked about it more back then. Oh, this is the graveyard. Get near the red door. Get near the red door. I got near the red door. It didn't do anything. Doesn't make them much more interesting to me. That's fair. It's locked. But it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Or am I supposed to, like, sell? Ring, ring. Chris, honey, what is it? What? No, I am not giving you a ride home. <laughs> Our house is not far. It'll just be... Yeah. Try walking. Okay. Do I use the ball of junk? You looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. I am near the red door. There's nothing going on here. Why have you brought me to this place, Killer Nuke? Okay. I'm sure that's something for one of the next episodes. 
It's true though, like, um... Since this episode was shorter than Undertale, for example, is... There is less time to build up emotional attachment to characters. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Aww. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Jerson. Oh, didn't he didn't he write a book? I disagree. No gaster song should be playing, but slow down extremely. Oh. Oh, that's fine. I don't need to see to, to hear the song. Um Renowned historian, author, and teacher. Gerson Boom, Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. Aww. You disagree with uh, there being less emotional attachment? I mean, less, I think, is fair. There's not known. Uh, there's not none. And there's not little for me either. It's just... Um, I feel like people that are new to this game and in the and haven't played Undertale are gonna have a harder time like finding emotional attachment to these characters, especially in this segment because these are just a lot of these are just completely random characters and then there's like some that we know from Undertale. I love all the new characters. I love them too. Don't worry. Oh God, someone's actually here. Ah, uh, Ice Ease Peza. You're number one spot for your piping hot piece of pizza. H hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. It's you! Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? No. <laughs> Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. <laughs> what the fuck is that face? <laughs> chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not ever have actually happened. B but one time Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Aww. Still as awkward as always. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperoni, pepperoni, peperonis, and more. Stop on down at Ice Ease Pizza. This guy gives me anxiety. I think this guy is anxiety. Like, personified. <laughs> Deltarune is a lot more cheeky, I feel. I don't remember party and picking up chick joke, chick's jokes. I don't know. Here at Ice E's Pizza, your family is going to love it. Oh. Your family is going to love... Oh man, that triggers me. <laughs> but I guess that's intended. Piping out piece of pizza, yeah. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Why do you have... Why? Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. Why? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Ice me up. Ice me up, boss. That's the face before this pickup line. Hey, girl, I'll give you two rides, but only one's in my car. Oh, boy. Y'all don't seem to remember too well how Burger Pants titty... Uh... Tied yo bone bratty and caddy in an alley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of caddy, by the way. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any el edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Oh my god, it's treasure dragons. In a pinch, sprinkles will work too. Hey there. Haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember, back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then, y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in, to order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down and at, uh, at that table in the corner, drawing shapes 
in the window with your breath. You must me really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. <gasps> On the house, son. Shit, yeah. Oh my god, I remember you too. Looking at my rock body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put my le all my leftover pancakes in this giant head. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. So for you hot two girls, that'll be the crepes. The, the crepes? A cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? Oh my god, I like the vibe of the waitress this year. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Oh, crepes. Okay, you pronounced crepes? Okay. Y'all don't see... Uh, I'm disappointed how the green fire girl and the purple tentacle girl didn't get much fan art. I don't know even what that purple person is. I don't think she's a girl, by the way. I don't know. I don't know. Seems more like a guy to me, but I guess that's up for interpretation. <gasps> Sans! Yes! <laughs> hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Oh my god. <laughs> we haven't met him in this timeline either. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. So yourself? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Me. Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. You got San's number! <laughs> San's best boy. Yes. She had a schoolgirl outfit in Undertale? Well, yes, but here... These are not necessarily... Like, the characters are a bit different, too, because... In Undertale, the fire elemental was a guy as well. So, there's a gender reversal going on for some characters. What's up? We just moved here, yeah. yeah. My teacher. Elphys, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills, then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is, a uh, purely business. So, uh, I guess I'll just let her do a thing. How about my mom? Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Oh! She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's gonna lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? <laughs> hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. <laughs> you should probably hesitate more. You're right. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. <laughs> he needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Oh my god, is it gonna be Papyrus? Knock, 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 knock. No response. But the distant trousel of bones. What is that bunny in the f in the window? Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? What? Bye. Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Okay, fine, jeez. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and Jocking were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. 
Then when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer, <laughs> Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> oh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skip class, my dad will never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. <laughs> oh. Don't have arms, that's true. Alphys! Uh, oh, Chris, Chris, you're okay. I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. What are you doing? It's a saucer of milk. <laughs> what? Are you doing? It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. It's a dirty trash can. It's a dirty trash can. Uh, oh, Chris. Uh, did, did you want to talk about something? What are you doing? <laughs> well, that took a long time, but I made it back. Hey, welcome back, Arnar. And Badger, I can't stick his work soon, and but I and hope you have a happy New Year's Eve. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for coming by, Badger, and I hope you had nice holidays as well. And, uh, geez. Alright. I hope you have a nice day at work. <laughs> I took a lot, uh, Elf is trying to get a kitten. Oh. Luck with work and have a happy New Year's Eve. Elf is living her best life. Don't judge. Okay. I, I'm not gonna judge. Uh, oh, these flowers? They are from your dad. <laughs> he always asks how you're doing in school, and gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, the, he, that he always gives me flowers really makes me wonder if he likes... If, if he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. Uh, oh, Chris. Oh, Chalk. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um, my homemade DVD collection of The Symptoms. <laughs> you know, the sitcom about the middle-class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. Oh my god, are you not into anime? In this... AU? It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second... Since they just rebooted it, they still start driving their own monster and finding it against voice. And the main problem about it is that lost the focus on family and they made it earlier than when their vehicles were shaped like and they were friends with the animal vehicles and let's not get into Simpton's galaxy force. Whether if Simpton's to discover on the other side of them wouldn't the gravitational field just, huh? You don't want to watch it? <laughs> That's okay, Chris. Uh... Oh, this saucer of milk. It's for my kitty, Mimu. <laughs> Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So, I'd like to think that there's a cat. M my cat. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> Damn, Elphys, spoil the series, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, she, she doesn't hold back. Sans... Oh my god, there's still more town! <laughs> there's cat eyes in Braddy's window. What the fuck? Oh! Noelle! Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so, um... I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Ah, oh, wait, sorry. I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back back, <laughs> back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious of what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her? If that's okay? She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but 
Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Wait, can we pick other? No, we can't. Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, she's into her, I'm sure. Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I, I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. It's an ornate gate. It appears to be locked. Wait. Are you guys rich? Well, Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything though, your choice. Oh my god, Azriel, like what a cutie pie. Do you remember when he when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Ha ha ha, that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Oh boy, Chris sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. <laughs> Feels a bit weird to do all these convos even though they haven't contributed to the story so far. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant when I was talking about uh, emotional attachment. Like... We're in a town with people we've never met before, with no action going on. That's, like, this is fine when you were at the beginning of the game for exposition. But now we're, like, at the end of the first episode. And the second episode isn't isn't out yet. So, I know it's exposition. But exposition should always come at the start of something. Not all the way at the end. Unless, of course, you know all the characters and they're telling you just something new that you didn't know yet. But we're meeting all these new people, and that's kind of, like, too much. But I'm sure that this is just because it's, like, in between episodes. Uh, let's talk about the neighbors. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's, like, my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Pepper Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered Cat Puccino. Cat Puccino. And she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. A uh, copygator? Copisaurus? Copodile? I don't know. She sucks. Aw, uh, they're also best friends in the other. Aw, oh, Chris, like, if you want to come in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. <laughs> Various cat-themed junk is piling up inside the house. It seems to be a bit of a cat style. <laughs> uh, hey, neighbor, neighbor. When's your brother Duck con gonna come by? <laughs> My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> what are you? What are you? It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Great. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. What are you doing to the cats? Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Go away. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, but her whole family is like so trashy. What happened to his arms though? I'm not sure. <laughs> or it's flavor text while establishing the timeline a bit. Maybe, yeah. I'm guessing it's to set things up for next episode too, Arnor. It's Toby, he probably got a plan. Yeah, I know. It's a bit boring. I, I don't see the goal meeting new people even though you know you don't won't grow anywhere with them. We don't know that yet. I mean, this is just the first episode of... I don't know how many, but... I do agree and I know what you mean. Like, this is a lot. 
and <laughs> we aren't necessarily gaining anything out of it. But try to be patient. We only have so much more to go, and I just really just want to find out all that I can because some of these things are actually like references to Undertale in in ways that I can like appreciate very much. Like finding Undyne and Alphys and all the other characters from the last game. It's nice. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet, girl. For like, your whole body. <laughs> oh wait. Go away. Aw, oh, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking. But like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like, made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone and like, I think she'll... She basically dialed 911. You don't have to do this because it could also be fan service. Yeah, true. True. Uh, it might be fan service as well, but I didn't do this in my original playthrough, so I'm doing it now. <laughs> just to, just to like, complete everything. Y'all heartless. Why were you dabbing? <laughs> we're finding some are fun, yeah. I swear your family went to church, like, every single day that week. <laughs> Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good! I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway. Chris, are you busy? <laughs> Napster block. Uh, I'm a... Uh. Oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now why don't you prance on home? Oh my god, is it, uh... Megatron? <gasps> it's Asgore, it's our dad! Dum de dum. <laughs> Great! For those of y'all who don't get it, this is. <laughs> this is the exact same scene. <laughs> this is the exact same scene as in Undertale, just in another setting, which is great. <laughs> Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. <laughs> Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Careful there. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now make yourself at home. <laughs> this man is precious, I agree. You can help yourself to anything you like. Dirt. Give me the dirt. Give me that pen. It's some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. What do you have a car magazine, Asgore? It's a flower! It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. The flowers are boring too, apparently. Oh my god, of course he would work in a flower shop. There are various flowers inside. I haven't even played Undertale, so I have negative <laughs> emotional attachment. Oh my god, okay, it's an air mattress. It's certainly not king-sized. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could, uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. It's a small TV on top of some superhero comics. Asgore, what happened to you? <laughs> it's a rusty fridge with some photos in on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself. Open the fridge. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. See photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. Ah, she's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. Alright. 
The divorce kicked him? Yeah. Sure looks like it. <laughs> a reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. He murdered kids? Whoa. That escalated quickly. Oops. They all looked happy. No. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's a door. It's locked. It's a dirty watering can. Various bags of soil. It's a note. It says, No rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. <laughs> you have one month. C. C? Who's C? It's a purple flower protected in a container. It's a blue flower protected in a container. It's a cyan flower protected in a container. It's a green flower protected in a... Okay. It's a green flower. Orange flower. Yellow flower. It's a golden flower protected in a container. Okay, we're just gonna let that be as it is, right? Say, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Ezreal comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Sure. What? Oh, Chris, before you go. You, are you gonna hug me again? Here, for your mother. Our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Ah. Have a great day, Chris. Don't you want to make me pay for them? I mean, I just read a note that said stop giving away flowers and, you know, it's your dad's truck. The floor on the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Nah, he's a country boy. Deception Skywarp? Hi, how you doing? Interesting combo of a fridge, TV, and sink. Duke, whoa, I see Peritos are here. I used to be a Dodger mod, <laughs> actually, if you come from, from, from Dodger. <laughs> so, and Arnor is a Dodger mod right now. You only got two bucks, though. I know. I would give him both. <gasps> Used to be? Yeah, I stopped being a Dodger mod. Uh, like a few months ago, actually. Actually, I think it's longer than that now. Oh my god, it's these guys! Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. <laughs> nah. What's this? More stuff that I can't interact with yet. What is this? It's a metal picnic table. <laughs> Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes in the table? Obviously. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cap cobwebs. Oh no! It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground. Oh, okay. You're the number two channel streaming this game at the moment. Stumbled in here. My gifted subs seem to have run out. Your gifted subs? And I am? Really? The number two. Jeez. I, I don't think many people are playing this game then, right now. I guess we're done. I guess we're done. I guess we can go up. And go home. Yes. This... Okay. Now this is the ending of the game. It's your mom's van. I haven't watched her streams. Oh, you, uh, your, uh, your sub, your Duke sub ran out. I see. To Dukes, I meant. I did the Duke Woe and it didn't. Uh, now you did it! <laughs> now you did it, though. Although, I haven't watched her streams since she had her Babu, though, so I'm not caught up. Yeah, I haven't seen her streams in a while either. There you go, Decepticon. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time. Right? <laughs> okay, Mom. I'll eat it a little. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Oh, okay, so I can't have it anyway. Okay. Bed then? Toilet first. Just flush it, though. You flush the toilet. Great! Alright. After a successful day, what's better than going to bed? The door's locked. Oh, that's not a room. <laughs> Snow, bud! I haven't watched Duke stream in even longer. Man. We all... haven't been there in a while. Alright, let's go to bed, guys. And end episode one of Deltarune.
R&R. R&R, why? <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, Decepticon, you may, like, no matter if you run out of your gifted Duke sub, but... <laughs> now you have a gifted Scoop sub, so... You can, you can now... You guys can now do this face. r and &R, thank you so much, my dude. Thank you. I really appreciate the five gift subs. You're amazing, man. Thank you so much. And Wiz King, Falcon One, Soggy, Decepticon, Skywarp, and Melvelosa. Welcome to the sub scoobers. r and stop giving me subs. Soggy, accept the sub. <laughs> Thank you so much, Arnar. Man. <laughs> Alright. What a timing. Mal hasn't been here in ages, either. Melvolosa is an even longer Perito than me in Stubadale. Thank you, yeah. Alright, let's end this episode. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yes, you decide to go to bed. Oh, look at that. Asleep, but not very calm. Maybe you have a nightmare. Whoa, harsh nightmare. Bad one, bad nightmare. Are we sleepwalking? What are you doing? Yes, you can move your hand. Whoa! What? Where did you get that? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is this? I can move my soul. Oh my god, I could move my soul. What the fuck? What the shit? <laughs> Just, you can't, you can't end it on this. Timmy. <laughs> What? Frisk is a demon, apparently. <laughs> you're never out, evil. Oh, I feel bad he's giving me like four subs. Aw, oh, no, you're so nice. The flowers! Oh shit, I forgot about the flowers. Hey, D Dylan Dally. Oh, Dylan Dally. How you doing? How you doing, my man? What a twist! <laughs> Apparently you can't end it on that. To be com continued in chapter 2. So you a baddie now? I have no idea. I have no idea whatsoever. And the game just ended itself, like, entirely. <laughs> it it closed itself. Except what you can't control, Skoog. I wonder, can I at least go back and give uh, the flower... Oh, shit. I would have to replay that, wouldn't I? Oh, well. Wow, okay. So, that was Deltarune. Chapter 1. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, that was... A wild ride. I got a scoop. <laughs> Alright. And uh, we're ten minutes overdue for the end of the stream. But... I felt like I needed to finish that. Um, okay, my thoughts. Uh, the ending was a bit drawn out and uh, overly fan service, I think, like the town. Uh, the ending itself was nice, um, but only because it's only chapter one. If it was just a general ending, I, I don't think I could accept it fully <laughs> because there's... 
You know, it, the game was too short to just end it on that note. Um, but other than that, I really liked Delta Rune, the first chapter of it. Um, felt like it was a bit like the humor start uh, uh, needed some time to really start through at first. So I thought it got better as it went on. You should replay it off stream and edit it into the YouTube. Uh well we can just we can just also like um do it next time really quickly. Like I'll replay it and then we can like see what happens and if nothing happens then we'll just leave it out. I'm trying to beat the secret boss and failing. Oh yeah, that's something we can do too. I like that it has that as well. We're going to have to see how Chapter 2 plays out. I'm very, very curious for sure. But so far, I think Undertale is clearly better. <laughs> um, not because this one is so much worse, but because it's hard to be able to say something about the entirety of this if the entirety is not there yet. Like, we had really good, really, really good parts here. And I'm very curious about Chapter 2. I never played Undertale, but I'm tempted now to try this out. Really, you have never played it, haven't you? Uh, haven't you seen anyone play it either? But it's gonna be in a whole year from now. Arnar, go to bed till next year. I could do it. I mean, that's only a day. All right, guys, what did you think about Deltarune? What did you think about it so far? I really like that we have, like, a group now, where in Undertale we only had one protagonist. It's kind of nice that, uh, like, uh, the combat system is a little bit different now. Like, it's... some interesting changes were made. I like Deltarune? Okay, yeah, so do I. <laughs> I would even go so far as to say I love it still. I just don't love it as much as Undertale. <laughs> it was fresh. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I feel like after you've done, after you like played something or watched something or read something, you always need some time to like, um, to like think on it, to like really process everything that's happened. Didn't see enough to judge. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking as well. Like, I don't think I can, I don't think I've seen enough to really to really say a full opinion about this. But yeah, I hope you guys at least enjoyed the humor and uh, the first chapter of it. Always meant to check it out later, but some other games came along, I think. Always seemed interesting. Might be an excuse to finally try out Undertale, or a new reason for me to do so. Undertale is fantastic, dude. Um, like, Undertale, the humor picks off right away, and uh, at the same time, this, the overall storyline still manages to be really tense and exciting. And um, there's something there for everyone, and nothing there for no one. So to speak. <laughs> so definitely check it out. Undertale is good, but the fanbase can kind of ruin it. Don't ever let a fanbase ruin a game or a movie or anything for you. Like... I know the Undertale fanbase is a bit crazy, but I've never let that uh, impact my view of Undertale in any way. Like, like you do realize there's Rule 34. Whatever fandom exists, someone's going to be weird about it and make porn of it or something else. So people are going to be people. Just let people be people, like... You can still enjoy a game even if it, if it has a weird fan base. <laughs> I feel like Undertale was exposed for me, so it's like zero playability for me unless I do neutral or genocide. I see, yeah. Well, I mean... Uh, it has replayability up to a point. But um, after you've done all the routes, obviously it doesn't have any replayability anymore. So if you've already seen it, then, you know, I guess there's no point in playing it. Apart from just for the, for like practicing uh, your skill in something. Because Undertale, uh, the 
pacifist route isn't very isn't very hard but if you try other playthroughs then uh you can really show off with your skill it's like a challenging game then and uh i always enjoy playing a challenging game and finally beating it at some point so there might be your replayability <laughs>